Okay, so everybody thinks about that turkey breast meat, but man, there's a lot of people that don't know how to cook this turkey leg. There's a lot of tendons that are in there. It's a lot of tough stuff that's not fun to eat. You can't just fry it up and eat it like you're at a, you know, a, a carnival, carnival or something. Or something. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, you can use it to pick your teeth, I suppose, with all those tendons, <laughs> but there's a ton of meat. You would not believe how much meat is on these turkey legs and you shouldn't pitch it. No. You should take full advantage of it. And Chef Will's back again with another bonus video. He's gonna show you guys how to take advantage of the turkey leg. What we've been smelling for a while, we're doing turkey legs. We're gonna do kind of simple turkey legs. It's gonna, how we eat it's gonna be simple. It's gonna be turkey tacos. Perfect. But you know, you've said it, I, I know hunters, they don't keep the wild turkey meat, the dark meat, because it's so t oh, yeah, tough. Yeah, quite a few people don't. There's yeah. so many tendons. There's those long, like almost toothpick <laughs> tendons. <laughs> right. Um, so how do you get rid of that? How do you get past that? Yeah without losing your meat. Yep. So what we did is for about two hours, we've had it buried in oil, just cooking in the oven. And now it's up here. And you can use vegetable oil or canola oil? Canola oil. oil. Okay. Um, it's called confit. Okay. Um, typically, this is, this is a European style of preservation. Okay. Um, they use duck or pork fat. Um, and they cook it, they you take your meat, you quarter it out, and you submerge it in your fat and oil. And then just for a very long time, at a very low heat, you cook it. And it pulls that water out, hmm. and it just puts the fat where the water was in that meat, and it makes, makes it sense. super tender, and just succulent and juicy. And it's probably one of the best ways to cook a wiener meat. That's tough. Okay. So we got that guy going already, he's going. So we're gonna ignore him. But we're gonna start very simply, we're gonna do spiral tomatoes because we're gonna make my famous chipotle salsa to go on these tacos with a little more onion and a little cilantro and lime. Right for that. So we just got, we got two medium tomatoes. I quarter chunked them up. We're gonna take a little more oil. You know, and my last time I was here cooking with you, I, I think I told you one of the secrets that chefs and really good cooks use. Oh yeah, right here. We're gonna use some adobo chicken seasoning. Okay. So we're just gonna. And this is just a product by Lowry's, right? Yeah, this is just a Lowry's. Okay. Uh, they make, well, th they started with their seasoning salt. Everybody uses their yep. seasoning salt. Well, then they got flavors. Right, okay. And this is like a typical um, Hispanic, well, it's more Mexican, it's, it's yeah. adobo. Hmm. And it's a type of seasoning. And it's usually got, it'll have a, because it's yellow, it's got a little turmeric, it's got some chili in it, it's got some black pepper, might even have some white pepper corn in it, depending on what okay. where you're getting it. So, really simple, already smells good. So, we're good. using the oil that's there, but I'm assuming you can use olive oil, avocado, Oh, yeah, olive candy. oil, um, for, because we're going to roast these in the oven. So you need a high heat. Oil. Yeah, I want to use okay. oil. I don't want to use butter. Okay. You know me, I love my butter. But when I'm roasting and I want to get some black and char on here, I'm going to use olive oil or canola oil because it's got a higher temp. Okay. Yep. So we're going to come right into this hot pan. And he's hot because my cast iron was sitting on him in the oven. So we're going to spread these out. And these are going to come right in the oven. And I didn't fully prep. We're just gonna we're gonna make sure it's as close to the top as possible. Okay. Nice hot oven. So we'll just leave them in there, man. And honestly, if they break down, that makes it even better salsa. That's less time in the food processor. Plus, when it breaks down, that sugar is gonna start caramelizing. You're gonna get a really nice char. It's gonna have a whole new dimension. Nice. Just the salsa. Let's just look at this guy again. Oh, and as you see, see that meat? Oh, yeah. It's getting that real, it, that's, it's darker meat, but it's starting to pull apart. You can see it starting to break and crack. It's crazy. You can see all the tendons sticking up and yeah. all and, the meats. And we talked about how, you know, a lot of people don't eat the wild turkey because of those. Yeah. And I told you, and you're going to see, well, let's see. Oh, yep, there we go. There you go, yeah. Clean, pulled right out. And we're just... When it's done, that meat's just gonna pull right off. And all this stuff, ooh, that tastes great. It's gonna pull right off if you There's want. You got a toothpick. Right there. there you go. 
So that's done. This probably well, probably another 15 minutes. We're gonna be done. We can get out of here. Sit. I think sizzling up. Oh. All right. So our tomatoes. Ooh, nice. We got nice caramelization in the pan. Okay. And we're starting. We're done with our tomatoes. Okay. What I'm gonna do? And they've been in there about what? 20 minutes, maybe? Yeah, about 20 minutes. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little water in here. Okay. And we're gonna let those sit. And that's gonna loosen that caramelization up, and that's gonna go in the food process. Okay, too. I was wondering about that. I love salsa. This is a salsa I've been making forever, man. Um, two medium sized tomatoes, just quarter chunked up. You see that water I put on there? Yep. And now I'm pulling all this good stuff off. You know, that's seasoning, and your that's your sugars from your, your tomato. Okay. So we want that, because that's gonna add a brand new, different flavor. To your tomato. Oh. So we're gonna get that all in there. I even want the juice. So we're gonna, that's probably hot right there. We've got one medium red onion and we're gonna do almost all of that in our salsa. I'm gonna save some because traditionally if you go south of the border a traditional taco is the meat, cilantro, onion, and a little lemon or lime juice. Huh. So we're just going to set him aside because this is for our tacos for later. So we're going to put him by the lemon. Now we got some nice chipotle peppers. Mm. You know what chipotle pepper is, Liam? I don't. A chipotle pepper is a jalapeno that's dried. Hmm. Didn't know that. <laughs> and then. I thought it was a completely different type of pepper. I mean, it's seasoning. Uh, traditionally, chipotle's in adobo. You use your adobo, darker adobo seasoning. Okay. And they put it in clay pots that weren't glazed on the inside. Hmm. Add water. And it would get a little clay in there and create a paste. That's interesting. And it's a thickening agent. So we're going to, yeah, we're, we're going to be Let's liberal. Get to get a little hot. And then... Same seasoning that we put on that turkey breast. We're gonna throw in here, just to pop it up a little, you know what I mean? How do you like your salsa? Do you like like a thin runny salsa or do you like a chunky? Medium, medium chunky. All right. all seen it or you watched my other videos I've done with Landon I'm a huge advocate of tasting everything oh, oh, oh. oh. yeah I tried that that way and while you're at it mm. hand me that garlic and salt so we're just gonna do that's real good a little salt and we're gonna I'm throwing a little little minced garlic and if you want to get fancy, you could do, you could put coriander in here. You can do, um, actually, can you give me the fresh cilantro out yeah, of there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna throw a little of that in there. But that chipotle gives it a nice smoky flavor, right? So, fun trick, and I haven't taught you this yet either. So, parsley, you can't eat the stems because it's bitter, right? Do you, you've ever ate a cilantro stem? I have, actually, yeah. Okay, so totally you know, so you know, I know. Yep. that most of your flavor for cilantro is literally in the stem. It is, yeah. Did you know that, Marty? You'll sure. get more cilantro flavor from your stems than you do the leaves. So I'll, I don't pull the stems out. I just throw it all in there. Just the smoky flavor on that, I think is going to be an excellent yeah. pairing. Yeah, man, come on. Oh, yeah, with that little salt and cilantro, it balances it out. So, that's incredible. That's awesome. We're just going to, I'm using a, a knife or a fork and a spoon here. And see that? There's one of those tendons. He comes right out. Let's see something here. 
Yeah, it just smashed in there. Mm -hmm. So that needs nice and tender. You need a fork and a spoon, man. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a little onion right in there. Just tear up some cilantro, cilantro leaves. leaves. Nice. And then we're just gonna do a nice little half moon for you. And you can squeeze that right on top. I might go a little extra heavy on the salsa. Oh, that's good. I don't think you are. I think you're gonna be impressed with that wild turkey flavor, how it's gonna, the smokiness yeah. in that salsa. It's so simple too. Yeah. So simple, man. Mm. Oh, that meat's so good. So good, dude. Honestly, I'm gonna know. What wow. do you think? Ain't that awesome? Like it's moist and succulent. I was incredibly skeptical because I thought it was going to be chewy based on the looks of the color and all that kind of stuff. But, man, very tender. Once again, you got a winner, man. Man. It's awesome. Dude. That's so thank good. you, brother. I'm glad you yeah. enjoyed it. Good job, man. Mm. Good job. Something simple that anybody could do. It's not a complex recipe at all. Yeah, that's by far the best turkey leg stuff I've ever had. Man. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's my goal, man.